हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स येट अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फॉर बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन बेस्ड ऑन मैंसुरेशन नाउ दिस टाइम दिस प्रॉब्लम कंसर्न्स ए डबल कोन नाउ व्हाट इज अ डबल कोन सी वेन एवर वी हैव ए राइट ट्राइंगल हियर आई हैव ए राइट ट्राइंगल से आई लेबल इट एज ए बी सी वेयर एंगल बी इज नाइंटी डिग्री the two sides which form a right angle are given so see the sides of a right triangle containing the right angle are 15 and 8 so 15 8 and the hypotenuse we can easily find out by using pythagoras theorem now how a double cone is formed what we do is this hypotenuse is retained at its place and we catch hold of this vertex b which is the vertex containing the right angle and we rotate this right angle about this hypotenuse ac so ac is fixed and b is rotated all around it once so this is represented that motion of b all around ac is represented by this dotted lines it forms a circle around ac like this and this position b will come once this side also so i represent this by b dash so now if you look at this very carefully then you will see one cone whose vertex is a this is one cone and one cone with vertex c so when we rotate a right angle triangle about the hypotenuse then a double cone like this is formed so in this problem it is given that it is revolved around the hypotenuse and we have to find the volume and surface area of this double cone which is formed now obviously in a cone you need the radius and the height to find the volume and you need the slant height to find the surface area so we need to know the dimensions of this double cone first now what we do is first of all we will find ac using pythagoras theorem so ac square will be equal to ab square plus bc square so that gives ac square equal to ab is 15 so 15 square and bc is 8 so 8 square which is 225 plus 64 289 and we all know that 289 is 17 square so ac comes out to be 17 cm so this is the first step we have obtained the value of ac now what about the radius of these two cones now the line which i have drawn here say this is b p this actually is the radius common radius of the two cones one from here and one from here both cones have the same radius bp so i represent this bp by r so this is the common radius of the two cones now how you find r now that is a problem if you can find r obviously this is perpendicular so if you can find r then we will have all the dimensions of this because now we have the height we have the slant heights already given and we need to find r now how do we find r in this now see for finding r we just need to find the area of triangle abc now area of triangle abc we can find out by using two different bases if you take bc as base then ab is the perpendicular so half into base into height this is the area of triangle abc half into base into height or you can find the area of triangle abc in another way now i am considering ac as the base so obviously pb will be the height so half into pb that is r into height height is r and base is AC AC how much we we have found out that is 
So take two different bases, half into base into height and half into base into height and just equate the two because it is the area of the same triangle, you get the value of the radius that is 120 upon 17 centimeter. Now these are the two very important steps for finding the unknown dimensions of this double cone. Now the problem is very easy. You can find out the two things which are required. One is the volume, volume of double cone. Now for finding the volume of double cone, we need to add up the volumes of the two cones. So volume of the larger cone here and volume of the smaller cone. So 1 by 3 pi r square is common, both cones have the same radius into h, what is height, height is ap here, the height of the upper cone and what about the lower cone plus 1 by 3 pi r square, r is again same and the height is cp. So this is the first step, we can take 1 by 3 pi r square common this will be AP plus CP. So 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 into R we have already found 120 by 17 into 120 by 17 and what is AP plus CP? AP plus CP is AC. So the value of AC we already know 3 gets cancelled 40 times. So 22 by 7 into 40 by 17 into 120 by 17 into AC and what is AC? AC is again 17 so one of the 17s again get cancelled so the remaining part will give you the final answer of the volume of double cone. Now to find the surface area, surface area of this double cone. Now see when these two cones are joined together using this common base then obviously the base will not be visible from outside the double cone will only show the curved surface areas of the two cones so we need to add up the curved surface areas of the two cones for finding the surface area of this double cone and what is the curved surface area of a cone it is pi r l so pi r the slant height of the upper cone is 15 plus pi r the slant height of the lower cone is 8 so just take pi r common 15 plus 8 so 22 by 7 into r is 120 by 17 into 15 plus 8 is 23 so small calculations these two calculations will give you your final answer i have calculated these answers just to save time the volume will come out to be 105600 upon 119 centimeter cube and the curved surface area I have already calculated 60720 and again 17 into 7 119 centimeter square. Now this is how you deal with a problem of double cone very very important and these types of problems if you have done it you don't need to do it the second time and you can very easily solve it in board examinations wait for more videos very important for board examinations and uh, these double cone problems are very rare in books you can take any right triangle with a given base and given perpendicular and solve this problem yourself Another important problem I will be taking up in subsequent videos is that of flow of liquid through pipes. Till then keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it.